So recently there has been some rumors that the New Orleans Pelicans sharpshooter JJ Redick has been put on the trade market and the Pelicans have reportedly spoken to the 76ers, Nets and Celtics. So in today's video I'll be discussing some of the potential trade packages for JJ Redick and discussing how he would fit with those teams. Before we get into the video I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA videos and to help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and comment on this video to start a conversation with me because I respond to all of my comments and play that intro. first JJ Redick trade I will be discussing is JJ Redick to the Boston Celtics and in this move the Celtics would send Romeo Langford and two future second round picks to the Pelicans and JJ Redick to the Celtics and to make the money work the Celtics would use their player trade exception to acquire Redick's expiring deal and this would be a really good move for the Celtics since they have a pretty weak bench and adding a guy in Redick who can score 12 to 18 points a game can be a a huge deal for them and he is just another guy who can give them buckets if one of their big three of Kemba, Tatum and Brown struggle. Reddick can also make it easier for the other players to score as he is a guy who defenses can't leave open which means that they can't go out and double team Tatum or Kemba which is something that happened a lot last postseason. Reddick won't be taking away anything from the other Celtics main players as he's purely a catch and shoot player and he doesn't need the ball to be effective. I don't think Redick on the Celtics is a perfect fit as they do have a lot of guards in Jalen Brown, Kemba Walker, Marcus Smart, Peyton Pritchard, and Jeff T. But I do think Brad Stevens is a good enough coach to make the minutes work. And he's a good enough coach to make good plays that will allow JJ to move off ball and get easier shots. It's also been said that JJ wants to move closer to his family and I think Boston is close to it. In this move, the Pelicans would be getting two second round picks, which I think is a good return for them, and Romeo Langford is a good young player, so I think JJ to the Celtics would help all parties. The next trade I will discuss is the chance of JJ Redick to the Brooklyn Nets, and in this move, I see it being Spencer Dinwiddie and two future second round picks to the Pelicans and JJ Redick to the Nets, and even though I do think getting JJ wouldn't really make the Nets worse, I don't think it makes them much better. Since the James Harden trade, the Nets have had the best offensive rating in NBA history, so to me it's clear their problem is an offense, which is exactly what JJ provides, but it is their defense, as since the Harden move, they have been the worst defense in NBA history, and despite JJ's effort, he is still a below average defender, and as he's gotten older, you can argue that he's a legitimate liability on the defensive end, and to me, that is one of the last thing the Nets need. The Nets already have two players who play very similar to JJ and Joe Harris who I think as of right now is better than JJ and Landry Shamit. And this team clearly doesn't need any more floor spacing as their big three of KD, Harden and Kyrie is already enough floor spacing. They even have guys like Joe Harris and Jeff Green so I don't think JJ would make an impact at all and I think the Nets should spend their money and assets on defensive players. In this move the Pelicans would be getting two second round picks which is solid and Dinwiddie is injured for the rest of the year but when he returns he could be an excellent starter for them if they if they choose to resign him so I think JJ to the Nets can happen but I just don't think it makes too much sense the next move I'll be discussing is the return of JJ Reddick to the Philadelphia 76ers and I honestly think this is the most likely move as Philly has a lot of assets and JJ had his best seasons in Philly and has a good relationship with plenty of the players and the move I see happening is Mike Scott, Terrence Ferguson, Vincent Poirier, and a second round pick to the Pelicans, and JJ Redick to the 76ers. I think this would be the best fit for Redick, since he's already used to playing with a lot of Philadelphia's players, especially Joel Embiid. And with Joel and Simmons,
Pistons needing as much floor spacers as they can get, JJ would really help. And I think JJ can help the 76ers the most because Philly is good on defense and they can hide him. And adding a shooter of JJ's level could really help them, especially at times when Danny Green is playing trash. In this move, the Pelicans would get some trash players and a second round pick. But I do think there's a chance the Pelicans could ask for more from Philly since they have so much assets. But yeah, I think JJ to the Philadelphia 76ers is the most realistic move out of all the listed teams. And I think Philly would be JJ's number one preferred place to go. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Let me know where you think JJ Reddick will go. Like my video to help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA videos and to help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And comment on this video to start a conversation because I respond to all of my comments. And I'm out.